Uh, hi guys, uh, we have a special guest again, Mr. Wu, and he's going to do a little introduction about himself. And um, it seems like uh, a lot of you guys are really like the part one, two, and three of the vintage cameras. So we're going to decide to to take it on further and do other vintage cameras in the future. So uh, without further ado, uh, Mr. Wu will give a short introduction of, on himself and then we'll get into um, discussing the Nikon F3 system. Uh, Mr. Wu? Yeah, hello. Okay, I'm Wu. Now, I got into this trade, into this industry in 1974. So this year is my 50th year in the industry. So uh, how I got in is, uh, I didn't plan that. It's just that in 1973, after I did my Form 5 in where I come from, we did our Form 5 exam. And I got the second grade, not the top grade, second grade. And the school that I went to had a very high standards. So if you did not do the second grade, you didn't do the school justice. So when I heard that I did not get the first grade, I just straight away say I will go and find a job. Fortunately, a year before that, in 72, there was Form 4 at that time, I joined the camera club in my school. It started because I had a new neighbor. The new neighbor operated a camera photo studio. And over the fence, he passed me an old German camera, an old exacta as a gift, but it was not working well. So the owner, Mr. Yong, told me, you take this camera to a Mr. Tan, a camera repairer, and he will get him to fix it and ask Mr. Tan to send the bill to Mr. Yong. So I did it after school. I took the camera to Mr. Tan to get it fixed. So one week passed, I dropped by, it was not ready. Two weeks passed, he dropped by, it wasn't ready. Three weeks and four weeks and one month and two months and three months, it was not ready. So I lost patience. I took it back. I didn't have any tools. I just accept a pen knife. I took the pen knife, opened up the camera, broke a few things in the process, but I managed to get it working. So one of the things that I broke was the shutter, shutter dial selector. So how am I going to select the dial without the shutter dial? So I made one out of wood. I took a wooden dowel, I, I looked at the shape of the one that I broke, I, I replicated the shape, and then I used a wooden speed dial in place of the metal one. In the process, I broke the spring return of the film winding. So you could wind the film, but the lever will not spring back. So I manually wind it back. So I managed to get the camera working for a while. So I joined the club. That time we don't have too much money, so we had school library. So I went to the school library, the junior library, the senior library, and borrowed every single book I could lay hold on the cameras. I read every page cover to cover. Then I have uh, was a member in the public library, the British library, the American library. Again, I borrowed whatever book they had. Then I borrowed my brother's card. So. I got two cards for American Library, two cards for the British Library. So at one go, I got one whole stack of books that I can borrow back. I read everything cover to cover. Then I started work. So the company I started work first was a camera shop. At that time, we do everything. We sell, we repair, we rent, we take pictures. So I was there the first eight years as their photographer. So I went and covered all the major PR events at that time. So I shot for the Esso oil company. I shot for the Goodyear tire company for five years. And man, many other companies. I've been through the tin mines. I went through the estate. I did all kinds of things. So that was my learning. And when I do jobs for these companies, they usually ask me to come at a certain time. And I noticed that I had to wait at least an hour before the actual photography start. 
So I say, how can I? Oh, this is wasting time, waiting for one hour. So in my bag, I always had a magazine or a book. So in the free time, I read. So that time, I bought every magazine available, and I read cover to cover. So that was my learning. So you just learn, and then you practice, learn and practice. So over the years, I got enough uh, working knowledge. Then when the company decided to fold up, I moved on to another retailing company. Then I joined a distribution company who happened to be the distributor of the Leica company, Leica camera. Then after that, another, my retailer, they wanted to do rapid expansion of all the camera shop. They want to open many, many camera shop, but they had one problem. They don't have enough people to work and people who work who knew about cameras. So the owner said, why? What we do is we will advertise and employ people who know next to nothing. And I joined them as a training manager. And they are, the task given to me was in two weeks, I got to give intensive training to the new people. Everything that is on photography, everything that is on cameras, everything that is on retail and running the shop. So two weeks solid, I will take them through the pace. So after two weeks, they got enough working knowledge to manage and run the shop. So after one shop, we move on to the next shop. That's what the process repeats itself. Then after some time, the, the, my former company had a joint venture with Leica. So they wanted me back to be a product specialist. Then I was back with my former company doing Leica. And at the first financial crisis, the company lost the contract for the Leica, moved to another company. So I followed the brand and moved to another company. Then after three years, the brand moved back to my former company. So I moved into my former company three times. Then finally, Leica set up their own operation in Malaysia. So the contract was ended for good. Then I went and worked for a Leica store, the one of the Leica store in the Star Hill, Star Hill Gallery. Then from there, I moved on to Isitan, and now I'm at YL. So I moved one whole big circle from uh, do everything shop to retailing to distribution. But my whole life, I've been doing is uh, what I'm doing, handling the camera. So anything that clicks, <laughs> big size, small size, the whole Oh, that's loss. amazing, uh, Mr. Wu. Yeah. Your, your knowledge of cameras supersedes you, that's for sure. So what people like about it is all this information that, that you've garnered out has done tremendous amount of, uh, of accolades from people all over the world who really appreciate your knowledge. So with that in mind, then we'll continue the series. And then especially the Leica end, because you've got so many years of experience with uh, Leica, Leica cameras, and then we do have quite a few uh, Leica subscribers, and they would really appreciate that. And there's a lot of things that they might not know. Okay, thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Wu, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.